For me, there was nothing I've done in my life that's come easier than photography. Like, there's no thing I ever tried to do that doors opened up this fast for. Like nothing. I just set out and I said, I'm gonna use this camera and I'm gonna just go wherever this camera takes me. I knew I was successful when I was truly able to translate me as a solo photographer into 10 to 11 employees, four to 500 appointments a month being booked at my studio. I knew that, you know, my impact and my legacy was, was going strong. My name is Cam Kirk, CEO and founder of Collective Gallery and Cam Kirk Studios. And let me tell you how I got my start. At the start of 2012, I was on unemployment. I had just got laid off from my job. I had just graduated college a few months back and I really didn't have a clear direction of where I was going. But the camera was honestly my only way in. 2012, I landed my most consistent gig, which was working with uh, Young Scooter, who at the time was, was with uh, Future and Gucci Man, And that, that really just cemented me within the music industry as a content creator and as a photographer and videographer. And from there, that's really where it all popped off for me as where I got my start uh, in the industry. And from there, I was just able to transition that and take that small opportunity and turn it into the empire that I have today. My dad put a camera in my hand probably when I was, before I could even remember. Um, so I grew up in a photographer's home. Growing up as a child in Maryland, my dad had a studio in his house everywhere we went. Even when we lived in an apartment, I can remember him having an area for his, uh, his photo equipment in his studio. So every family portrait was taken by my dad. If I wanted an allowance, I didn't just get allowance. I would have to help my dad shoot a wedding, shoot a ball, put on, I had to put on a suit and he would give me a camera and, and, and tell me what to do and show me how to shoot and I would have to shoot my own pictures. My dad really, really, really put a camera in my hand early and had me around the camera early, early, early. Pops. What's happening, bro? How you doing today? I'm tired, man. Man, it feels good to still see that you have this studio here. I feel like it's collecting dust a little bit, man. I don't know what you're doing in here. Well, I, I won't lie to you. I ain't shot in here in a while, but because of you, I'm ready to shoot again. And my dad shoots, you know, his passion is shooting more like uh, traditional photographs, like, you know, your wedding or your, your high school photos, your graduation photos. My dad, just even indirectly from the stuff he's taught me as a photographer, he was also my, my coach in, in sports growing up. So it was like he found time to do all of these different things and wear all these different hats in my life. Did you have any idea that I would be a photographer? No way, no how. Now, I do recall at the age of 10 and 11, what I did was I gave you and your brother, I should say, hey, this is a digital camera. I set it on program. And the first thing I told y'all do, just shoot. The biggest thing I was trying to teach y'all back then would have been composition. As far as you being a photographer, no, I, didn't, I had no idea. Uh, I'm proud of you as being a photographer, but uh, no. What you th what did you think I was gonna do? Now, if you want me to tell you what I thought you was gonna do, yeah, honest answers. Okay. You told me and your mother that you was gonna be a sports management, sports medicine person, <laughs> and that's how you got to go to Morehouse. I really had to try to convince them on why Morehouse was the one for me. Like, yeah, mom, dad, I'm I'm gonna be a doctor. I'm gonna be the doctor in the family. I'm gonna make y'all proud. I'm, I'm gonna have this real traditional job. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be making the money. You know, I was excited because you, your thing was uh, MD behind your name, MD behind Cam Kirk. It didn't do me no justice that halfway through first semester, I changed my major to business and marketing. 
uh, which became a whole nother story in itself. Like I threw a concert with Wiz Khalifa my junior year, another random thing I did. And I was looking for some way I can continue to market my events and concerts. So I told my dad to go out and buy me a camera. He took me to Best Buy and we bought a camera the next day. I bought a Canon T2i. And that was my first time like buying a camera that I knew I was gonna use for business purposes in any way. But even at that point, it was, it was not to be a photographer at all. When I was first, first picking up the camera and doing it my way, keep in mind, I'm thousands of miles away from my dad. My dad is still in Maryland. So a lot of the technical stuff I had to learn with a camera, I had to kind of figure it out on my own. He wasn't necessarily present every step of the way to like take the camera out of my hand or take me shooting and all of that. So he also wasn't there to see how my career was transitioning with the camera. So a lot of it, he didn't really take as serious at the beginning. Cause it's like, I don't know what you're doing all the way down there. You can't be trying to do photography because I know you don't know nothing about that. Like, so the times where I got better, the progression stages, he wasn't necessarily present to see it. When you started saying you want to be a photographer, there are thousands of us out there. And when you talk about being a photographer, you're competing against thousands of people. And your work has to stand out. I don't care from, from the day you started to up until now. You just can't take normal pictures. You can't take... Your picture has to say wild effect. If you don't have the wild effect, other photographers, especially people like myself, gonna look at it and say, this ain't nothing, I could've done that. That was like an interesting dynamic between me and him because for him, he just would continue. A lot of my family, they just see the same 18 year old that left and it's like, you don't know nothing about photography, you don't know about this or that. It's just, so you, you it's, it takes a while for you to really get them to, get them to catch on. When I started seeing pictures like Little Yachty, the blue outfit, the blue sky. I started feeling prouder of you because now we're not talking about ordinary pictures. We're talking about pictures that, that, that has a meaning to it, has some shape to it. And that's what it was about, you know, making sure that whatever you put out there is the best that you can do at that time and, make, and, and with other people look at it and say, yeah, that's dope. I learned a lot just from the drive to want to impress him. Like to want to finally take a shot that he says, man, that is, that's a great, that's a good photograph right there. We go through that and now my dad is probably one of my biggest fans and it's, it, it, was a, it was a journey to win him over, but I appreciate him being difficult and hard on me because I think it made me want to perfect my craft and take it serious. And his impact on my life in general has completely shaped the way that I approach photography, where I approach entrepreneurship, where I approach my employees, my friends. But it's all out of love and I get a lot of that from my dad. Now I guess as I'm, you know, doing this project, I've been reflecting so much on my start and it's, it's impossible for me to think about my start as a photographer and not think about, you know, the first time a camera was put in my hands, whether I wanted to do it or not. Um, those seeds that I was planted early. So, you know, Dad, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate it, whether you knew what you were doing or not. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate the, uh, the the criticism, the critiques, the startup money. You know what I mean? The times you came to Atlanta and, and had to take the camera out of my hand and set the settings right, or the times you contributed uh, photography for a project I was working on. Um, I just want to say thank you, man. You know, I love you. Nah, no problem. I love you too, bro. I'm proud of you. I, I really enjoy your work now. Not even, I, I enjoyed it even then, but I mean, no, I, it's okay. I'm, you can say now I'm, gl I'm glad to see that how great you became as a photographer. And, and I hope you continue on having great success at everything you do. Uh, and yeah. now I'm your favorite photographer. And you're definitely my favorite photographer. As soon go. as you put me on the road, on the payroll to come down and shoot. I got you. Yeah. It's on the way. You're going to run the studio. I knew I was successful and I knew I was onto something big when I was truly able to translate the work and the notoriety I was able to build as a photographer, as a videographer, as a director. You know, everything I've worked for, everything I've done, it's all worth it. My advice to anybody you know, who's not super sure of what you want to do, but you just have a passion, you have a dream, is to be 
super open-minded about the way that you get there. That's the first part. There's no one way, there's no right way. This didn't work out, cool, you on to the next. So you go in here, you jump from tree to tree. Um, and I think that that's my advice for younger people that either wanna get into entrepreneurship or you're not sure what you wanna do, is to first evaluate what's the one thing that you are super talented at. Think about the skill sets that go into what that talent is. Utilizing these talents, utilizing the things that come so natural and easy to me. What career opportunities are out there that, that match that? I believe that door, the doors opening and things that you do that come natural and come easy to you are you know, universe's sign of telling you this is a path you need to go to. And seeing that my dad was putting a camera in my hand as a child, he's been telling me this. My dad named me Cam, this is my real name. <laughs> being born into a photographer's home, having access to a studio, seeing my dad edit late at night, it's completely changed my life and put me in rooms I can never even imagine. So for me, it was always about me being open-minded and never getting down on myself, but just going. Life moves on. It's like you keep going.